What is good everybody? I'm Kirby Ron and welcome back to Northgard. Last time we were here, we just basically kept expanding out the base. I think I took out this Draugr tomb because we got attacked there. So made sure that we got no other distractions um, going at us. It's just us and the, the Hrimgandir um, to face off. Try and get all the rhyme steel we can. Um, so far, not so good. It's eating up all this rhyme steel. It's eating up some other deposits out here somewhere. Right here, 36 and 15. Um, I wonder if I can keep distracting it, though, by buying these colonies, and then it wouldn't be allowed to eat any more rhyme steel. As a side note, but I am losing food now, so I might have to change up my tactic um, or just get more civilians back onto uh, food. That could also be an option. Um, but yeah, I'm out of other mineable resources like iron and stone. I've gotten all I can. So if I want more, I'm going to have to set up a marketplace, but I don't really know if I need more. Got all my food production upgraded and got what I could get upgraded for houses upgraded, but it looks like the plan wants better houses. So I might have to buy some more stone that way. Um, cause I am getting more crowns now, so that's good. I'm currently working on building up a... Actually, we can get better houses. Get better houses, I just need more houses. We can get more houses. And marketplace. I'm losing some wood now, too, but I have a lot of wood, so. We should be okay to last throughout winter um, versus our wood production or with our wood storage should be able to survive winter and then build up over the summer months again um, food production is growing once again so that is good We'll see what this marketplace brings us. Sign the road to become merchants. It's been crowned by the resources. Got one working here. More upgrade. What should I get? What should I get? What should I get? Military strategy. Attack won't matter right now until I get the rhyme steel to actually damage the thing. Could get this permanent increase in population growth speed. Could get that and grow faster that way. Negotiation reduces the marketplace by 50%. Stock growth movement. I could get that as well. This increases lore production. Our stone is a 50% uh, by wood. 20% food penalty. All good stuff. And I could use, I could get. I think I'm going to go with lore, get faster. You know what? Um, get this I'm buying resources right away but am I going to buy resources right away let's get back it let's get faster war and then everything else should come should come faster then right I mean if it takes more lore to get there then I'll get growth speed and then I will get um, which we call it We have sheep out there. Yeah, the sheep in here. We have sheep here. We have sheep there. I have three sheep in here. What the hell? The one doesn't have sheep. That's one. And this one doesn't, but I'm not really working here, so that's okay.
A sheep presume keeps the keeps the uh, doctor away. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Need to increase my warband. I'm going all shield bears in my warband because. I just need de defense right now to I need the most health I can get basically um, so forge guy could increase my woodcutters production and that would be about it I could increase everyone's production I'll keep five metal on me though at all times because uh, to revive board yield if I fuck up with uh, the micromanage uh, the micro making sure she stays alive and, uh, at least I can buy it back gonna be building out my army basically shield bears and board yield in the bear kaiju the armored bear doesn't um so that's good she just costs gold and food pounds and food so she'll be easy to buy back i wonder why i'm making less food now than i was during the winter time that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to buy anything right now. I'm not going to buy anything right now. I have two lores on this guy. I have one more on this. Could buy another lore stone. It'd be three. I won't. Stone. I'm at 60, it's not bad. Get better houses, and someone else wants a better house. Left an ungrateful. The cutter's tool and tool is okay. Here we go. Let's get a fish head. This is what you could do, because I'm not going to forge anything more for the time being. Got my miners upgraded. Villagers to build the mining hut faster. Got my food production, and my wood production, and shield bears as well. Do I need... Two, I need four more villagers. Two, four more villagers, so three more villagers after this guy. To fill out, finish filling out my warband and then have two to go mine. And we'll see if uh, we can figure out this operation or not. Figure out how this works. Figure out what we can do. Monk, shield bear. My army's filled out. For warband anyways. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it's filled out. I got seven shield bears plus board guild plus the bear. Um so I mean we'll see, right? We'll see how it goes. And then for the first time, and then we may need to adjust things for the second round. I think I'm gonna go right here. The starters. I buy out like all these zones. And then buy out a different zone. 
more. Let's get the recruitment speed. Let's go get villagers faster. Then it might. I don't know if I should wait till it attacks or just send it all and see what happens. Because I imagine if I colonize a zone with rhyme steel, that'll be the zone that the Him Grandier, Prim Grandier tries to attack first. But uh, we'll see. I guess. A woodcutter. This is production by five. Or by six. The villager is coming with me. He's eating the rhyme still here. There's 30 here still. Let's. This. Build, build, faster, go faster. Get to work, get us this rhyme steel, let's go. Let's see what happens. Get us this rhyme steel. They're working at it. You know what? That's perfectly okay if you want to attack there, Hoon Grandier. We're not even mining there. We fucking, we fucking fight these guys here and then wait till you uh, stay in the zone long enough to decolonize it and, you yeah. know. Gladly. We eat up this rhyme steel. Oh, we got six. Six extracted out of his own. That's good. If we get all 30, that would boost us up a lot. we get in one of these last zones. Just wondering how well Shield Bear does against you. Not very good. Two, two ice spikes and they're done. Not great. They're better against that attack. This attack kind of fucks them up there. Basically, the only one I want to survive out of here is Boy Yield. I don't know if you guys can just turn on for a little bit longer and get reinforcements. That's good. And these villagers I'll save too. strategy. Oh, 
Not a good boost though. Not a good increase in rhyme steel. Territories under attack, yeah that's okay. We don't care about these ones. I don't know if I'm gonna go back there or not. Oh, they ate the they ate the remaining stalagmite, so fuck it, we're good. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. Him Grandy can uh, take care of that. So that was, I would say, pretty successful. We'll have to do another successful mission like that uh, soon. You guys don't even bother because you're just gonna go get hurt for no reason. Did I buy the bear back yet? Waiting. Almost getting my next, my next lore's place. I think I'm gonna go with negotiation. Because, like I said, these like attack power increases won't matter until we uh, get all the rhyme steel we need. So, negotiation's probably next. Man, the bear clan really likes winter. a bunch of like winter bonuses harpoons increases their production don't necessarily I mean because I'm not filling out all the fishermen's huts I have already but if it increases their production then maybe I should go with that But I'm going to negotiation first and then I can get harpoons. There we go, we got some more iron and some more stone so I can upgrade more houses. Maybe people are happy again. See, we have some sort of winter bonus because our food production actually dropped. And we got Kaija back. Kaija go boost this production in the zone. While we wait to build our army back up. Ugh, excuse me. There's even come out of the boost cost, I think. Yeah, 10, 10 lower. Next one's 66. I'm guessing they're 56. It's, cost, it's cheaper to buy shield bears, too. For the bear clan. Some special ability. It really sucks that they took our miners, though. Or that it took our miners. Took out our escape route, we couldn't escape, fucking thing. Okay, I think we'll go to this zone next. Actually, I should go to this zone. And then just colonize all these fucking zones. And that way, we'll have multiple escape routes. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I have multiple ways to get the frick out of there. Or even this one. I have multiple routes to move our move our troops. Move the miners, I guess. The, the troops can move through enemy territory. It's the, the, the ones, the civilians that uh, need a colonized route to get back home. So, yeah. Go to one of these center ones where we're not back into a corner. Should work out in our favor. That's what I'm thinking. Twi tis what I'm thinking. Twiz, tis what? 
gold still popping off. Pretty good. Nothing else in this zone. No. Quite cheap though. As long as there's sheep in all these other zones. Sheep could. Well, I guess I could move it to the sailor zone. You're all the way hanging out over there. They're gonna hang out down here and keep these uh, keep these guys warm. Okay, I got one villager. Just need the second one coming through. We should have the Raven Clan ability right now to just purchase them, come faster. But I guess we'll just do the old-fashioned way and wait for this villager to pop through. Not the end of the world. Yeah, I think I'll get harpoons next, and then we'll see where we're at with the rhyme steel, because then maybe I'll get legendary heroes. I don't know if monster, monster Slayer works in this case. I don't actually know. I could get military strategy as well. I got plenty of guys working on more, so should be able to buy a couple more lore pieces, I think, before the end of this map. But we'll see. We'll see anyways. How are we doing? 75%. Got more villagers. I can almost get another brewery going. Or I could stop wood trade. There's one of my trade huts and trading posts and go uh, make a brewery. So this is going to affect the break guy. Seven, they're not working. It's not bad. Got my two villagers. All right, got two villagers. We got boy guild. We got the bear. We got our seven shield bears. Our war band. Okay, let's go. Colonize. 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 And then we go colonize this zone. Starters. 45 line skin here. Colonize it. Move in. to extract enough to get the hell out of here. Well, not get the hell out of here, but you know what I mean. Like the freaking Prim Grandier. Let's get to mining. This is 45. They can tell me how much the Lagmite has. Oh well. Of course, it attacks on first zone. The uh, mining zone. Let's abandon it. So fuck it. Abandon it. It's like the heroes fight. Bust, but we will regroup and see. Oh fuck! You guys are no longer villagers, though. Yeah, I do definitely need a house here. Need to develop them. Build house. You too. Okay, run this way. Right. 
I guess we'll see where the tracks were. No, no, no. There's no point in going over this way. Strategy because it has beat fucking stalagmites. Just need two more. Just need two more. Boys, we'll get out of here. You guys get out of here. Okay, we're gonna regroup. Going to regroup, 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 regroup. Got ten more. Steal out of it. But I wasted a little bit here because I let it eat a stalagmite. Which is like 15 here. Yeah, that was not the strat because it just eats a stalagmite when it leaves the zone. So, not the move. That's 15 left in it. If I could extract all 15, that would be amazing. I don't know if that would be the case, but it would be amazing if, it was. if I could pull it off. Not then we'll have to go to another zone and work on it, I guess. So I have like 66 plus 15 is uh, 81. So, I mean, I still have lots of lime steel left to collect when I'm going to do 19. Just a matter of beating out the clock, I guess, and making sure this thing eats as few stalagmites as possible. But I was at least able to extract out my miners, so that was good. Um, so, guys, I might... Uh, I'm getting, we're getting close to time here today, so I might uh, end end the video here um, because it looks like it's just going to be more of the same um, and all I'll do off screen is collect all the rhyme steel we need because I mean you've seen the strat and that's what I'm going to continue to use to complete getting the rhyme steel so instead of boring you guys with another you know half hour of not progressing the story probably half hour or so I will work on just getting the rhyme steel off screen and then next video we will be able to be, blah, we will be able to forge the worm slayer um, and then take out this thing and then see what the Asgard runestone has in store for us. Um, so that's that's what's gonna happen. So if I get all my rhyme steel, that's why. It's because I did it off screen for you guys. Um, anyways, that will do it for today, guys. I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in today to friggin smack that subscribe button as it really helps out the channel and i do really appreciate it and as we say up in canada peace out.